So, hey guys, Warrix here, and what's going on? I just made my first template, and I want to show you how to edit it. So, first of all, you got to go to link in the description to download the template, and you're gonna download the folder Warrix template, yeah? And when you download it, you just open it, and you will see this folder over here. So you're gonna extract it wherever you want. I'm gonna just put it on my desktop and you will open it and first what you're gonna do is install font. Yeah? So you just open it and click install. Then you close it and open a folder called Cinema 4D and open the Cinema 4D file. This may take a while and when it's open it you will see the template is over here but when you render it out it's gonna bring you this window so you will close it and go to file click open and go to your desktop or where where you save the template open it go to cinema 4d and do double click on this this is gonna bring you textures but so my Cinema 4D is a bit stupid, so it's crashing sometimes when it's opening it. So I hope. Ah, you see, it crashed again. So I close it. I'm sorry for that. Ah, I think I'm gonna pause the video in a moment because someone just arrived. Uh, okay, uh, I will open it again. I've got it over here, my texture pack. I'm gonna go on YouTube. If you saw the template on my channel, it looks pretty cool for me. Uh, I uploaded it just three hours ago, and it's got the. Free So I think this will be good. Yeah, it's open it and you will just slide it down. And as you can see now when you render it, the textures should be fine. Yeah, you see, it's rendering the textures. So you can clo just close it and go wherever you want on the timeline. Yes, you see textures are fine and click here on change text and write over here whatever you want so for mine it's vorex and you see this looks pretty good and this is uh, all what you got to do in Cinema 4D then just go to render settings go to uh, this is all done so just go to save and click on this f these three dots and save it wherever you want then just close it and hit render over here click on this icon and it's gonna start rendering it should be rendered after a while oh shit why is this over here Uh, uh, this is a little fail, so I'm gonna put it back, hit the keyframe, and it's fixed. Uh, I'm sorry guys for this, shit, uh, now it should be fine, I hope, yeah, and just it render and it should be fine don't change anything you uh, yeah it's fixed over now uh, and for I forgot to s tell you that I'm sorry for my English I don't speak English very well but I hope you'll understand me okay that's all and now just close you can you can save it or whatever you want if not mm, just don't save it 
and then just go to the uh, After Effects folder and open Vorex template dot eap aep. So open it. This these are overlays used in the intro. Uh, so you can have it if you want. This is um, some kind of whale wave. Yep. These are particles. This is pretty good. And the blue shock wave. Thanks to Trooper FX for this. Uh, just wait for After Effects to open it. This is pretty. Uh, this will take a while, but not much. Uh, uh, come on. You must have optical flares for this intro. Yeah, and to when you will open it, it's gonna tell you that one file is missing. But it's okay. You will just click on the template.avi. Uh, right click, replace footage, file, and uh, choose the intro that you rendered from Cinema 4D. Yes, uh, and the uh, when you when you done, the effects should be on the on the intro. So you're gonna you are going just to final result. Yeah, you think uh, particles are here? Yeah, this is pretty good. And CC lens started four seconds. You see, CC lens is here. So, and you just click on final result. Click on file, export, and to render queue. Uh, I will delete this, and you will just click on lose loss change AVI to H264 click OK and save it wherever you want and just click render this may take a while but after that it should be rendered so you can just close it, don't save and then you'll just open Sony Vegas or any program to add the soundtrack over here Yes. So this will be all for me. I hope you understand it, my English, <laughs> and I hope you you will enjoy my template. It's completely for free, only for you, and that's all for me. And yep, yeah. bye.